Hi, Coach Brad Dillon. What can you tell us about the brown and white wrestle loss a couple nights ago? Um, well, we're pretty excited about you know where the team is uh, right now. I mean, obviously it's wrestle off, so it's never a whole lot of fun because one of your guys loses and one of your guys wins. But um, overall, you know everybody stayed healthy, which is a, a big piece, a big piece of it. We had some uh, some good performances. Um, so if you want to run through it, um, you know Scotty Parker, I thought did a pretty good job. You know gaining that spot. Kid's a heck of a worker. You know we're excited. About, we're excited about him. Uh, he looks great. Local kid looks real good. Yeah, I mean he's uh, he's everything that you, you look for in, in a student athlete. I mean um, again his work ethic is just it's just awesome. So um, you know excited to, to kind of get him out there. Um, about Nate Brown. They, they looked uh, pretty darn good. Yeah. And the, and the Staley kid that, that he wrestled is uh, he's a pretty good wrestler. So for that to be that lopsided, uh, you know, Nate's Nate's coming along. He's uh, he's he's gonna be fun to gonna be fun to watch this year. And, you know, Definitely. We got, we got big hopes for him. That's for sure. How about 197? What can you tell me about that, that uh, match? Yeah. Um, not a, not a whole lot of action. Um, you know, I, I think uh, you know Elliot uh, felt the. Uh, how do I put it? First time up, a couple a couple weight classes. Yeah. Um, you know, and that, it wasn't the best performance out of him, but um, you know, you got to give some credit to John Bowler. I mean, he keeps a lot of matches, a lot of matches close. Yeah. You know, it, how's it? Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't a huge, you know, surprise for that match to be, be so to close. Be close. You know, John. John's very good at, at, at slowing some things up and keeping himself in the positions that he wants to be. Um, he's, he's won an awful lot of matches himself, so that'll be that'll be fun. Those two guys will continue to push each other. Forward. So Elliot's gone up two weight classes. How is his weight? Yeah, I mean it's good. I mean he's you know he's uh, he's, he's definitely a, a 97 pounder. You know, obviously uh, we're going to keep growing him into that and get him a little bit bigger and bigger as uh, as more time goes on. But uh, he's put on a heck of a lot of power. Uh, you know, had a good summer in weight in that respect. So um, you know we're we're excited about him and you know, John Bowler's going to keep keep pushing him. Yeah. You know, John John wants to get in there too. So we'll see how everything plays out. How about your two uh, senior um, transfers? Yeah, um, you know they had a, uh, a very very tight match at, at 165, um, and they're both uh, both really really talented kids. You know, unbelievably athletic um, for both of them. Uh, they're going to continue to uh, to scrap and push each other as well. So it's it's a nice spot we got at Lehigh right now where we start to feel like we have uh, a lot of options at a lot of different weight classes uh, and, and a lot of good options where. Uh, those guys are going to score a heck of a lot of points, you know, for us. So, uh, you know, it's it's the first step in wrestle offs. It's not the you know end all be all. You know, we're going to continue to evaluate. You know, we've got Clarion Open coming up this weekend, so we're going to send a contingent up there. And, you know, hopefully, we'll come back with a, a whole lot of hard work. You guys got a great Pennsylvania coaching staff. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with John and Pat? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's been really nice to kind of keep some cohesity, you know, between the three of us. I mean, we've been together for the, you know, this is our seventh year together. So um, for our kids, that's awesome anytime you can, uh, you can do that. Um, obviously, um, you know, use his credentials to kind of speak for themselves. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's a tough guy. I mean, tried to cut his arm off and couldn't even do that. So, um, you know, he's he's been great. And he brings a lot of mentality, you know, to the, uh, to the room. And obviously, like I said, just unbelievably uh, just tough. Um, you know, and that Pat, me and Pat have been together for 14 in the last 15 years. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's crazy, you know. And, you know, he's you know, honestly just probably the best person I've ever met, just as a sheer human being, as an individual. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited. We're ready to get going. I'm tired of, uh, you know, wrestling each other in the room. It's been a long time since we've been in the meeting. So, uh, we'll get Mason out here in the, uh, you know, in a couple hours. And then we flew over the crew over at Clarion. And then, uh, you know, open up the house draw on uh, Thursday. So it's all, uh, it's all finally coming. And, you know, this is the time of year where, you know, kids have done a heck of a lot of work in the room. And we're excited to finally get them out there in competition where, where it counts, you know, and uh, make all that work kind of uh, pay, some, pay some dividends. So um, that stretch from, uh, you know, when they've been competing in freestyle till now seems, seems awful long. So, like I said, I'm ready. I'm ready to roll.
Any closing thoughts for the uh, fans of the Mountain Hawks? No, just uh, you know, come on out and uh, support us. I mean, it's it's going to be a uh, you know, we're still relatively young, but it's, it's a talented team. And we're we're excited to get going. So. Uh, Wish uh, Mason luck. We're uh, we're going. It's happening. Excellent. Thanks for taking the time to talk to True Wrestling.